Good day and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. <clears throat> Yesterday we tried something a little different. We had you explore positive changes which you seek in your own life, like a personal self-improvement plan. So rather than focusing on negative thoughts, we focused actually on positive thoughts. And then we had you identify, identify how each of these ideas for improvement, how it left you feeling in your body. I'm curious what you may have discovered. Here's the deal. When we face the depressor in our lives, those are those negative uh, voices in our heads, uh, the depressor just loves to generate what we've called negative storylines. And it's completely understandable in light of the depressor and its negative storylines that we would want to fight it off, right? Makes complete sense. And how do we do that? Well, oftentimes what we do is we rally resources within ourselves that we're going to be calling the fixer. So there's the depressor and its negative storylines, its requirements, and the, there's the fixer that comes in purportedly to rescue us. Now, who is this fixer? Well, it's the part of ourselves that tries to beat the depressor by getting stuff straight in our lives. The only problem here with, with the fixer is that there may be a fly in the ointment of this particular, even if well-meaning strategy. Another way to put it, it can backfire on us pretty badly if we're not really careful. So for today, what I'd like to suggest is that we go back to yesterday's exercise, which was, as you recall, a how I plan to improve my life map. It's a map with that in the middle of it. I want you to go back to that today. And this time, what you're gonna be writing underneath, I ask you to list a half a dozen different behavior changes that you would seek that represent self-improvement. I want you to write underneath each one of those specific behavior changes that you identified. I want you to write your answer to the following question. And this is, this is the question. If there were a depressor thought attached to this particular fixer idea here, what might it be? So the specific base behavior change is well-meaning and we're gonna call that the fixer. It wants to fix our life. But if there were a depressor thought, a negative storyline attached to that, what might it be? Let me give you a couple of examples to kind of prime the pump. Here's an example. Uh, if the fixer says, if one of my behavior changes, this is the fixer, if it says, be a better parent, I would write underneath that, whatever the depressor voice might be. In this case, it might be, well, I suck at parenting. Or some variation on that. Here's a second example. If the fixer in me generated a behavior change like begin to practice meditation, Bob, the depressor, that voice might come in and say, I'll never be able to control my thoughts, so why bother? Do you get the drift? how this goes, that the two might be connected. I want you to try this exercise. Do this for each one of your goals that you've identified here for self-improvement. Make note of how the fixer uh, may very well have this shadow component lurking right underneath the surface. It's what we're calling the depressor. So what we're looking for is right next to the fixer is depressor self-talk or negative storylines. So let's see what you find. Thanks again for joining me today. I wish you well with the exercise. Come back and join me again tomorrow. In the meantime, please stay safe, be well, take good care.